Hello Power Apps Maker, this is Ahmed Saleh again. I have this short video today talking about the sequence function. I'm not sure if you ever work with the sequence function, but it's a great function that has a lot of use cases that you can actually utilize uh, for different kind of uh, functions uh, where you wanna generate random numbers, add them to a collection, you wanna generate uh, certain range of of, of dates uh, you want to generate you know certain range of years for example in a drop down or a combo box uh, to be selected as as the year um, and 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 so on and so forth uh, so let's hop into uh, our uh, this quick uh, tutorial today and I will show you exactly how to use that sequence function so uh, the first thing I'm going to use this today with a, a combo box. So I'm going to go ahead and, and add a combo box real quick here. And what I want to do here, basically, it's uh, generate a, a sequence of years. So I will use the function sequence and then uh, the records. So basically you are telling the sequence function how many records. So in that case, how many years you want to show. So let's say that we want to show uh, like 50 years, right? And then uh, then the start, what is your start point? So I would say like start from the year 2000, right? So this is basically it. So as you can see here, the sequence function actually generated a table for me with only one column and it has all the way from 2000, year 2000 to the, two, to the, to the year 2049. So uh, let's let's check out this and see how it look like. So this is exactly how it look like. And this is a combo box, right? Uh, let's add a few labels here. So I'm going to here uh, because we're going to have another scenario. So I'm going to call here um, select a year. And uh, we will actually add another one just to show that selected value. Right, so we can actually say here selected year and then and and we have our combo box right here. So we can come here and say dot selected dot value. Perfect. And we just make this a little bit bigger right here. And maybe we can give it a different background color. So let's just give it this color right here and make it bold perfect and now let's check this and you can see that I can actually scroll down and select you know uh, multiple years yeah I can actually select multiple but you know I don't want to do that so what we can do actually we can not allow so basically we'll change the control here to not allow multiple selection and now let's try again 23 as you can see that we can select this so this is one of these use cases so what if I want to actually search here right so if I can actually try to enable the search allowing search it will not work as you can see so every time you turn it on it will actually basically turn it back off and the reason for that if you go to the advanced property of the combo box you can see here the display fields and the search field and values and we know that the search function will not work in integer or a number uh, value. So what we can do uh, to really overcome this is we can actually use the function add columns. So I'm going to go ahead and add the columns using the add columns function. Uh, I will give it the table of my sequence and then the column name I will call it just year. Uh, really. Uh, you know, we can just call it year and then uh, the value of, of, of that year uh, in that column is going to be our value from the sequence, right? Uh, go here and I would like actually to go ahead and format this one, right? So this is how we do this. And now if I go and try now to enable the search, obviously you can see that display value is still the same value. But when actually I go ahead and enable the search, All right, it's not working, but what we can do is to make this work, uh, we actually need to convert the value because we still have the same issue here, right? 
So we need to convert the value to a text value, basically, right? So that's that's what we need to do. And here we can have uh, this is text value, and it will be um, just like this. Now if I come here and check as you can see the display field has changed so basically what I did I just converted the the value from the sequence which is a number I converted to a text right so now let's try and actually go ahead and enable the allowing search now we can allow search so what this will help us is is if you actually go here and you want to actually search like let's say you have like more than 50 years right so you want to just the user to be able to start searching for the years that they're looking for basically so uh, what we're gonna do is let's say here 240 you know and then they can see like you know 242 and that's it right so this is this is one case scenario that I have actually another scenario and it's it's a very a decent one as well and uh, we're also gonna use a combo box here right uh, to generate this sequence so what I want to generate here this time uh, I want to basically generate a sequence of the next uh, 180 days right uh, 180 days from today dates just you know from every time the opera run uh, the ab run this uh, combo box will be filled by the next 180 days next six months and to do that we will have to utilize the for all function so basically what we're going to come do here uh, first of all let's just get our uh, basically sequence right so uh, using our sequence is going to be sequence function and the sequence function is going to be 108 right that's that's what we're looking for okay so now we have 108 value right from one to 180 okay so using the for all function i can say that my source is going to be that's basically the number of iterations is going to be 180 and what i will do i will use the function date add right and then i will give it today date you got that's right and after that I will pass the number of units which is going to be the value right and then what are the unit that I want to show I need the 180 next 180 day hours months or years so here we want to do the days and here you go so we have the value of from today date all the way to June 24th of 2023 which is a hundred days 180 days right from today date that's perfect right so now let's play this out and we can have as you can see here we have an issue so this is basically we need to format this to a date format to do that we will have to add use again the function add columns so we'll come here at columns we have this source here my column's name is going to be date format again the column name is a string right comma and what is this going to be the value of this date format so it's going to be converting the value of the date that we got it right to what date sorry it's actually date time that date time format dot short date perfect now if we see here we have actually the value and we have the date format let's see how that works here you go you have it right here can you search let's try to enable the search again yes you can so now you can search by date so if I run the app you can come right here and actually start searching by like let's say 06 or actually 6 right so we have 6 that's June uh, but what if you want to actually add more work to this 
So let's actually try to get even deeper. So and instead of actually just searching by, you know, the months of the year, like can we add the week, for example, you know, like the, the, the week number uh, and also can we add the day uh, number? Uh, what about the year as well? Right. So we can add all these kind of things. And to do that is basically after the text, which is going to be the date. Now I'm going to use concat actually, or I will concat multiple values here. So the first one is going to be, let's want to get the year, right? And the year it's going to be basically using the text function and passing the value of the sequence, right? And then what I want to get basically is the year, right? So just the year, right? That's it. That's, that's the first one. So let's take a look right here. If I do this, I can see. So this is like each date will have the year next to it. So this is the year 22. This one is year 23, right? Perfect. Now, what if I want to do something adding something to this so I want to do actually the day right so I want to add the day to it and this is gonna be using what using the day function here you go and passing the value right here that's the next one so now let's check it out so we have actually the year 22 and the day was the 27th okay Let's take it even further. What about the week? So it's going to be the same things. It's going to be the week. And using the week function or the week num function and passing that value as well. There you go. Format the text. Check it out. You have now the date. I have the year. I have the day. I have the week. Perfect. So, you know, this is the week 53 and it's only according actually to the date. That's awesome. So let's say that I want to run this and I want to actually search now. Like I want to just get actually the week 26. So I just put week 26. Oh, I, I look like we don't have a week 26, right? Okay. So let's see what is the last week. Check, yeah, week 25. So let's just we get week 24. Right. So I get all the values for week 24 right here. So what about week 53 or sorry, week 52? We don't have a week 53. Oh, yeah. Here you go. And then. If you want to do like, let's say, search by the year only. So you can just say I want a year 22. So you get all year 22 or year 23 you get all years 23, right? So this is a great function, the sequest function. It's an awesome function that you can use for too many cases. And I hope that you will find it useful and use it in your applications. I will see you next time. Bye now.